Sobras Bernetes muscle. It arises from the Sobras Bernetes fossa of the scapula. Insertion into the superior facet on the greater tuberosity of the humerus. It's also one of the four rotator cuff muscles. Function, initiation and assisting of the deltoid in abduction of the arm. It also provides dynamic stability of the shoulder. It demonstrates peak activity in late cocking phase of throwing mechanics. Nerve, C5, C6. Sobrascabular nerve. This is the only branch from the upper trunk. The nerve passes through the sobrascabular notch. The superior transverse scapular ligament covers the notch. The nerve is deep to the ligament. The artery is above the ligament. Entrapment of the nerve there can cause the innervation of both the supra and the infraspinatus. Dimension of the tendon. The supraspinatus average 25 mm wide and has a medial to lateral footprint of 12 mm at mid tendon. Tests. Several tests like near impingement test. How can sign and Job's test. Examination of the supraspinatus. The muscle is tested with the shoulder abducted to 90 degree and flexed to 30 degree and maximally internally rotated. Downward pressure is resisted primarily by the supraspinatus. This is probably the best test for this muscle function. What are the pathologic entities that can involve the supraspinatus? Number one, Subacromial impingement. It is the most common cause of shoulder pain. It is the first stage of rotator cuff disease. Pain with overhead activity and pain at night. It is part of a continuation of the disease that include tendinitis and tears. Second entity is rotator cuff tear. The third one is rotator cuff arthropathy. Massive chronic calf tear plus arthritis and collapse of the humeral head and pseudo paralysis with escape of the humeral head anteriorly and superiorly. Another entity that can occur is suprascapular neuropathy when there is a ganglia or entrapment of the nerve at the suprascapular notch you will get involvement of both suprascapular and the infraspinatus because the suprascapular nerve will be involved. Another one is the pasta, which is partial articular sided suprascapular tendon avulsion. Another entity is failure of the suprascapular following total shoulder arthroplasty or hemiarthroplasty. It will result in superior escape of the humerus. The treatment either you repair the tendon or you revise the prosthesis into reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. 
The last one is calcific tendinitis. It means calcification of the tendon. It usually occurs in the tendons of the shoulder, in the rotator cuff, causing pain and inflammation. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.